In other words, it'll give validity to yourself. Yeah. It'll give authenticity yeah. to your celebration. Yeah. And you recognize that you're not doing it because of emotion only, yeah. but you're doing it because you got an attachment yeah. to your deliverance, yeah. your salvation, yeah. and your redemption. Thank you. Have I got a witness here? Yeah. Well, that's how holy it's too long. It reminds us that God, in no uncertain terms, makes a pronouncement in the book of Acts Amen. that it is his spirit at work in the life of the church. Amen. When you have time, you'll see how he meanders amongst his people who are giving him free reign, who are not quenching him, who are not stunning his activity because of sin and stagnation in our lives. Amen. You want the Holy Spirit to move in a miraculous way in your midst, then you've got to recognize you got to give him liberty and free reign to move according to his dictates. Are y'all with me here? So I come to share with you this morning this magnificent story of the Holy Spirit moving in the early church through the apostle Peter and Paul. Amen. Primary characters in the book of Acts. Then this episode unfolds as they were on their way to the temple. Going up to the temple. Every time you come for prayer, you're going up. Every time you make your way to midweek fellowship, you're going up. Every time you make your way to be edified on Sunday morning. Sunday school, BTU, yes. amen, Bible study, yes. yeah. you're going up. Yeah. They were there, they were on their way up together to the temple. Yeah. There's a unit, there's a spirit of unity at work uh -huh. in their midst. Yes. Why? Because they're going somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, brothers and sisters, church takes on a whole different atmosphere and connotation uh -huh. when you are going somewhere. <laughs> problem is we're too content we're going in circles. Oh, Amen. Amen. But the Lord doesn't want us just going in circles. Yeah, yeah. He wants us to have purpose and direction in our journey. Yeah. Yeah. That's what unfolds here. God says, I've got provisions. Yeah. Now provide those provisions come through the avenue of prayer. Well, well. Prayer being at the ninth hour. Uh -huh. <laughs> The ninth hour simply suggests that it coincided with how the Jews prayed early on. Yes. In the morning, mm. in the noonday, yeah. and at sunset. <laughs> in other words, they had a habit of praying. Yeah. That's a good habit to have. Yeah. <laughs> they had a habit of praying. <laughs> and the word says, through their prayer, yeah. God began to move by his spirit. Uh -huh. They found a man who had been incapacitated, couldn't move his physical infirmity, had restrictions on his body, which affected his mind, his soul, and his spirit. And yet, he didn't give up. Because of Peter and John, the man had a habit of fasting his eyes upon them. And once he did that, he recognized that something is bound to happen Amen. when you focus on Jesus. Amen. Are y'all with me here? Amen. Our problem is we look at folk too much. When we ought to be looking to Jesus. Amen. We look at style and personality. <laughs> when we ought to be looking to Jesus. <laughs> we look at the tragic trap of traditions. Amen. Rather than looking to the revelation of Jesus Christ. <laughs> there he is. Peter reminded the man uh -huh. that silver and gold yeah. have I none, yeah. but such as I have, give I to thee yeah. in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Rise up and walk. <laughs> there lies the destiny of two broke creatures. <laughs> Y'all missed it right there. <laughs> He says, we don't have anything. But, amen, we got something better than what you can tangibly put your hand. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is, we got good news about a revelation that you need. Yeah. And that revelation oh, yeah. is in the person of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> Rise up <laughs> and walk. <laughs> That's what I want to tell you this morning, Riverside. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Rise up and walk. <laughs> Why? Because intermission is over. <laughs> Why is 
Come on and praise it. Come on and praise it now. 